Hi, my name is Tony and I don't care how much leather working experience you have. Today I'll show you how to make a flat cap just like this one. In the next 20 minutes or so I'll show you how to print and cut the patterns, what leather to pick and uh, how to put all the pieces together so you can make your own hat and be cool just like me. Oh, and don't worry, we have 10 different sizes to fit everyone. First thing you need to do is download the patterns uh, and I left links for you in the video description and then open them with Adobe Reader. Next, go to your printer settings and select actual size and then of course pick only the pages you need for your particular size and then go ahead and print. It's a good idea to use the test page and make sure the pattern printed at the intended size. You will notice most of the pieces will fit on a single page except the headband. Let me show you how to combine the pages and get that band in one piece next. Again, you can check you print at the right size by fitting the paper headband around your head. It should fit nicely, not too tight though. Talking about leather, I strongly recommend something rather soft, three to four ounces of chrome tan leather. If you got it, we are making a cap, not a helmet, so uh, be sure your leather is all nice and soft. Having said that, the headband and the visor, uh, you'll need a stiffer leather for this. Maybe six to seven ounces of uh, vegetable, uh, vegetable tan leather or something similar. But for now, let's focus on the crown. It has seven pieces and uh, this is how we're gonna use the paper patterns to uh, punch every stitching hole and cut every single piece.
Before we continue, I need to talk a little about this stitch right here. There are actually three ways to connect the panels between them. Number one, with a stitching machine. First, the middle stitch, then fold the edges and do the other two stitches. This particular hat right here was made with a stitching machine using this method. Now, it looks great, uh, it's fast, but we don't all have stitching machines or uh, know how to use them for that matter. So let me show you the second way to attach the panels, all right? No machine required. First, you only punch the middle stitching row. You, you stitch the two panels together. Then you use glue to fold and hold the edges, all right? And then punch the parallel stitching rows and then stitch those into place as well. Sounds confusing, doesn't it? Don't worry. I'll show you next exactly what I mean in great detail.
Now, that was the second way to connect the seven panels. And uh, it's how I made this hat I'm wearing right now. But you don't like glue, you don't have glue, you don't want to glue. No problem. I got you covered. Method number three. You punch all the holes as marked on the pattern, all three rows for each of the panel sides, and then you stitch them in the same order I stitched this hat. Middle first, sides secondly. You won't need glue, but I recommend uh, you tap the stitching after you're done with a round headed hammer, so uh, you flatten the stitch, just like I did with both these hats. And that's how you're gonna put the crown together. Uh, by hand or by machine, entirely up to you. And before we continue, let's cover the top with uh, this round piece of leather right here. Now, make sure you double it with something so it's a bit stronger and stiffer. For example, I used some red leather for this guy and uh, I, uh, I used a little bit of vegetable tan I got left over from the, from the visor for this hat and I think I like this one better. This round cap has 14 holes and you need to use the seven holes at the top of every panel and the gaps in between them for the other seven holes. Fantastic work. Let's move on to the headband and the visor. And just like I said earlier, you're gonna need heavier leather that's stiff for these two parts, all right? In my case, I used seven ounces vegetable tan leather. Uh, but you can use something similar that's, you know, got the rigidity you need in a visor. So go ahead cut the two pieces and dress those edges uh, with some uh, edge paint or maybe some burnishing paste.
I will also recommend you skive the um, top inside edge of the visor a little bit so you can fold it easier around the headband. That's not a deal breaker, but it will certainly help uh, getting the overall shape. After you do stitch it to the headband, starting from one of the points I marked on the pattern, all right? That way you're gonna get it perfectly centered. Now just close the band at the back with a short cross stitch. Great job so far. Now we need to just connect the two starting from the back. And the panel 45, this guy here, will have the starting holes marked on the pattern, all right? They will match uh, the back here, so your hat will all be nice and centered, not askew. So watch out for that.
after you finish this stitch all around, fold the band inwards and once again flatten the leather with the hammer, especially here at the seams and you're good to go. Now quick tip, if you want the cap super flat, all right, simply move the headband up uh, like I'm doing here at the back. Just like I said, super easy build anyone can make with a machine or by hand. Just get the patterns, get the right leather and start making. No excuses. This was the whole build. Thank you all for watching. Remember to subscribe and if you click that bell button, next time we release a leather worrying tutorial, you're gonna be the first to know. Peace. I'm out. Mm -hmm.